Tilo, what's up? We are on Twitch. We are live. By the time, time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, don't forget, if you want to catch a live or you want to see a live that you missed, go to twitch.com. Username is the first username on the bottom of the screen right here. Don't forget, we got um, Patreon and we also got merch. Got mine on, man. The link to all of this is in the description below, man. This is going to be Wife Swap UK. I've never, I've, I've seen this show before, but I've never watched the show. I've never watched Wife Swap. But somebody on Instagram su suggested it to me. So, you know, I, I was going through my Instagram messages. Rarely ever read them, but I'm going to start reading them now. So, got it. <laughs> let's watch, let's check it out, man. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True, talk to me. The Strict Greens live in Nottingham, where Tracy and Ben are training 11-year-old daughter Shantae for the 2012 Olympics. Birmingham is the home of the free-loving Ramsey family. Chris and Gray are swingers. This is episode, season 8, episode 10. I just, whatever was available is what I jumped into. I ain't gonna treat this like police interceptors. Whatever we can watch, we will. There, ha there doesn't need to be in chronological order for us to understand anything. And live with their kids, 16-year-old Ginny, 18-year-old Ray Jr., 19-year-old Sam, and her three-year-old daughter, Jess. Hey! We got a lot of kids. Tracy and Chris have agreed to swap families for two weeks to find out what they can learn about themselves and each other. What happens when a tough disciplinarian is forced to spoil his daughter? You're supposed to be her parents. I'm also supposed You're to, supposed I'm to be also her parents. supposed to be her garden and explain to her, understand that you don't get everything just like that. That's true. Hold on, uh, is, there, uh, is this the intro? Because I don't want to see no intros. You feel me? But I've I got a feeling we're supposed to get... To feel the need to have sex out of the... Anyway, this is fine. That's fine. Right. Think just like that. No, no just that's like right. that. No, that's just you. No, no just that's like you. that. How will a laid-back dad cope when he's forced to get tough? You're not supposed to be out, don't you understand? What's your background? I mean, how often have you yesterday? And what will a traditional mum make of a real wife swap? This is fetish. Do you want to stand on there and I can show you? No, no, no. <laughs> <don't> you anyway. <laughs> is there something missing in the relationship to feel the need to have sex out of the marriage? Oh, yeah. I got a feeling this is going to be hilarious. OK. Just pick up on each lap one second or that's all you need to do, one second. See, I'm more of this style, but I'm also the other style as well. But I'm more of this style. Like, I'm disciplinary. We got to do stuff by the book. But I'm also understanding what it was like being a child. <laughs> the Green family from Nottingham are super fit and highly fun. ambitious. Mum Tracy and stepdad Ben's goal is for 11-year-old Shantae to swim for England in the 2012 Olympics. This is an 11-year-old? Yeah, this is an athlete, 100%. I hope my daughter this like, I hope my daughter is this tall when she's 11. I know she is, because she's kind of tall now. But... She's training hard, and she's training six times a week. She's bought 110% in every time she trains. So hopefully, and the targets we've like, given her, she's achieving them. When she did the other day, I said to you, didn't you work? Could you have gone quicker? She says, yeah. So she's not done it before. Tracy wants to see Shantae succeed where she failed. When I was a kid. Oh, man. Ah. I was a very good swimmer. Like ah, that's a bad sign. 
Did your daughter choose to be a swimmer or did you turn her this way? Monte as well. And I was spotted. And my dad said no. Didn't want me to go. Shantae's grueling swimming schedule dominates the entire family routine. Um, it starts half eight. Mum and Dad take equal responsibility for keeping the programme on course, as well as sharing the chores. If you work together as a team, and then you'll have more time to actually no, together. So that person just... She got a different genetic makeup than her, though. Than Mom. Like, I, I, let's not... I'm not trying to say nothing or sound crazy, but we all know, like, this is a different DNA. This is the different code of DNA. Obviously, two people met, had intercourse, had a child. But this is like a different splice, like a different, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say it. Don't make me say it. They always say sport gives dedication. It also teaches them discipline. Just saying, though. Discipline when they're at a young age, and then they'll learn when they get older. Shout out to Michael Phelps, though. Their strict regime for Shantae includes fines for neglecting her many chores and misbehaving. Huh? I just think it's good, so I like know where I am kind of thing. So I'm not too naughty. There is no such thing as too naughty for Chris and Ray Ramsey. Have a look. Should I perform in place? Yeah. <laughs> the Birmingham couple are real life wife swappers. Swinging is intimate fun with each other and with other consenting adults. Lovely. Can't beat it. The couple married 21. Oh, so they freaky freaky. Years ago, when Chris was just 21 and Ray was 38. Ray was my mum and dad's best friend. My mum and Ray. What? That's not weird at all. Ray was your mom and dad's best friend. And y'all got together when you were 21 and he was 38. So how long did bro have an eye out for you? I see. I, I'm, 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 I'm okay. We're getting deep here. I see a little bit of something else that might need to call 999 about. Like, I don't know. Ryan went to school together. So, Ray's always been in the family. Changed my bottom when I was a baby. Get the, get the blood, bro. Hello? Is this 999? Yeah, I'm watching UK Wife Swap, and I just heard something crazy. Yeah, no, I don't, I can't repeat it. I can't. You would not be proud of it. Like, somebody come get this man. Please. These days, it's Chris who treats 60-year-old Ray like a baby, doing everything for him. He's just a cabbage patch husband, really. Yeah, I just have a drink. No, it's just coke. What? You think coke. Their pre-living ways also extend to their parenting. There's no rules and there's no discipline in the house. They rule the house, really. Yes, to be fair, yeah. they rule the house. They don't push their kids to do anything. And the kids do what they want. 19-year-old no Sam has chosen to be a lap dancer. I like the job because it's more like a night out for me. Because I can go out and I can see my friends. I can have a drink. I can have a cigarette. Do you know what I mean? I can earn money as I'm spending it. And then I come out. This is what happens when you're not, like, when you're home, when you're a father, but you're, you're present, but you're not present. Like, what are you doing? Fathers are supposed to keep daughters off poles and, and, and sons out of jail. That is, you failed as a father. I'm sorry. I, I, I'll say it. Bro failed. I've mean, got money and I can do whatever I like with it. What's this? Meanwhile, Sam leaves much of the childcare to her mum, Chris. So there's times when me and Ray want to go out, but we have to now think about who's going to have Jess. My job revolves around Jessica. As a nurse, Chris has a demanding job, but she still has to fetch the family's takeaways seven days a week. And even buys her kids cigarettes. As a nurse, I know it's wrong, but hey, uh, I'm a parent and I love my kids and I just want them to be happy. You can be replaced. I love my daughter and I want her to live a love, a long, thriving life. I'm like the cook, this. cleaner, bottle washer. What? I, there's got to be a lot of judgment here. I see. I'm, I'm judging. Washing up, lady, babysitter, taxi driver, 
I do everything. Don't worry, that. Bye bye. Bye bye. I think it's always good to be a good mix, though. Before meeting their new like when don't one somebody when both sides are too strict, eventually, if you're too strict of a parent, eventually, your daughter is gonna go out here and, and go crazy. Let's, let's keep it a buck. We know this. At least in America, we know this. All the good girls with, with, with strict parents, by the time they get hit, to hit college and it's free realm, oh, it's over. They're done for. Body count zero to a thousand. Respectfully, though. And allegedly. But, you know, it, that's why you got to find that. It's a, it's a thin line. <laughs> new families, Chris and Tracy, have the chance to look around their new homes. Okay. So definitely younger. This pot is in the living room. There's nappies as well. Oh. In the living room? No. Kids can generally annoy me. <laughs> Some is in the swim squad. Is that enforced on the child or does she enjoy doing it? Good question. That's the same question I asked. Things Raymond don't eat. So don't eat shepherd's pie, cottage pie or lasagna. If Shantae put a list up saying she wouldn't eat that, then she'd eat it, I'd make it. She's really into her. Huh. Really? I'm getting the vibe she's definitely forcing her daughter to swim. Mom, I don't want to swim. Yep, you got to swim. I hope they don't get up early in the morning to go swimming. <gasps> I am not getting up at any time to go Oh, uh, this must be the love room, Jesus Christ. It's very organised up here. They're a very straight-laced family. Both wives have written a manual as a guide to running their homes. There are lots of people in our house, but I don't believe in rules or discipline. No. How can you like it, disordered and undisciplined with no rules? I could do it. Mm. for the county. She's very ambitious and trains six days a week. What other life does this girl have apart from swimming? Many people would think that we have a very strange relationship. We are swingers. Crazy people share the partners. I would never share my husband. I'm not gonna cap. I would not share my girl either. I can't. No way. Plus, I'm laying down pipe, so it don't matter. <laughs> it's something's lacking in the relationship, because otherwise you wouldn't swing. Jesus Christ, what a manual. The child swims more than she has a life. How are you? Alright, thank you very much, yeah. I'll introduce them all, that's Jessica. Ginny. Samantha. Get up. This is rude, you gotta get up when you're greeting people. Hey, What? And that's Raymond. Right. Hello, everyone. And Rye as well. Are you alright? Yeah. I'm Rye, that's Raymond. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi. See, that's good manners. Already, off top, the other wife. His, the, not this wife, the other one, she thinks they're above, she's above them. That's why she didn't feel the need to stand up. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here really counseling, really breaking this down. Oh, look at my hook. Hello, darling. My name's Chris. I'm Ben. Hello, young lady. Hey, Hello. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, how nice. You know what? That's great manners. Oh, that's nice. Oh, don't worry. I don't <laughs> bite. I need to Stop shaking that. <laughs> I want to get the bath right, because right. I don't want you moaning at me. So how do you like it? I can always it? add up all the time. I'll go and get the food. More used to an equal partnership, Tracy must now play the role of dutiful wife. First task is running Ray's bath and laying out his clothes. Oh. Ray is the grown man? That's the, that, okay. So what, what would you normally... Running his bath? He's gonna put butt to porcelain and to... Just anything. I wear what every people say. So generally just that, yeah. a pair of socks. And when I come in, I just put myself some shorts on and the t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, just maybe I'm just too much of a feminist, but even running the bath for somebody every night to me is weird. I'd do it if I wanted to do it, 
But I wouldn't do it because it was part of my duty. Fair enough. I mean, I get it. Like, yeah, run your man some a bath occasionally. But first and foremost, I'm taking a shower. I need to, I, I don't like to sit in my own dirt, in my own filth. Like, what, for men that take, for anybody that, no, more, no, this is about men. For men who take shower baths, do you get up and shower afterwards? Because you really sitting in your own dirt right now. You, 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 a, you a man stew. You a man soup. You brining. You marinating. So good. I'm very impressed so far. Oh my god. Good, somebody's going on. <laughs> There's been no pressure on it yet. <laughs> Tracy's next chore is dinner. And as usual, it's a takeaway. Dinner! <laughs> okay, I can kind of see the format of the show. They come in, they do it their way, they run it as a normal show, and then she switches and they do it how they would normally do it at their other place, and then they try to find a common ground or something. Jeff! She's generally not a good eater then, though. She don't eat enough to get the bird. She's alive. But there was nothing nutritionist on that. And that little baby tonight, they brought chips and nuggets and shit. Hey, chill out. My daughter be eating chicken nuggets and chips almost. <laughs> she, hey, listen. Nah, but she uh, also eats vegetables. She didn't eat any of it. This is bizarre. This is a cooker. Dinner's also Some proving to be an issue in Nottingham. Veg. Should I cook spaghetti bolognese? Have you got pasta sauce and stuff? Um, bolognese sauce and... No, we make our own. Oh, okay. Um, if you got some oil? Some oil for? To fry the mince. All oh, right. Well, to fry the mince? Yeah. Well, I'm going to... Oh, it fries in its own. Do you in... not put any oil in it? No, no, no. Okay. It fries in its own fat, don't it? Yeah. See, the front one's too high, so I would put it on the back one. See, what, I put that one to the back. On. Put that one to the back. Yeah, wait, I don't... Wait, what was she trying to fry with the oil? Okay. The meat? You don't put oil in meat. It already, it, yeah, it cooks in its own fat. Yeah. I'm turn it down. Not worried, Ben. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just watching what I'm just actually watching what you do. You say. I won't poison you. We'll have some fun with the dinner. After a few days, I should start getting on my nerves. I think. Yeah. It was very controlling because obviously you now I'm trying to cook dinner. Um, he's trying to get in there and. So One thing I will not do is like hover over a woman if she's trying to cook dinner. Not saying that she even has to, but if that's something that she does, like I would never hover over a woman when she's doing something that she's doing because at the end of the day, she's gonna get annoyed <laughs> and she's gonna stop trying to put that effort forth. You issues about what he should and shouldn't be doing, so that'll be fun. It's Ben's house. But it could be my house next week. My rules. Oh, for a week they do it. It's strict mum Tracy Green's first day living in the liberal Ramsey's home. Her first job is to look after baby Jess. <laughs> whilst mum Sam and her boyfriend recover from the late night. Ain't no way. No. No. Why her boyfriend and her... What? First of all, you're 19, you're a stripper, you make money every day, and you got your boyfriend living at the house of while I'm babysitting your bit. Get out. Get out. Get out. 100%. Get out. You're not staying here no more. It's a dub. Don't be too cold. Jesus. Oh. Sure f then, in it? Tell him, bad boy. Thick as <laughs> Baby. Chris. She's acting like mum to the child rather than grandma. Just needs to realise that mum's the boss and grandma's just grandma. Do I get up with her? 100%. I agree. In the morning? Yep. What time does she get up? She'll get up about, it depends, varies, normally about half past seven, eight o'clock. Sam leaves Jess in mum's care four days a week, while she goes to work in Cheltenham as a lap dancer. Yeah. So then when she comes down, what does she like to do? 
I she'll just know. sit in front of the telly when she wakes up in the morning. She'll just sit in front of the telly with yeah. a bottle. She won't do anything. She'll be fine. Does she like to watch that it? That is so toxic. Don't do that to y'all kids, bro. Like, today I let my daughter watch. No, not today. Was it today? Yes, it was today in the morning. I let her watch TV all morning. And it was the biggest mistake of my life. Like, the day was a lot harder. Because that's, uh, at the end of the day, she just wanted TV, TV, TV. Like, it's so not a good thing. <clears throat> they get, like, hypnotized. It's almost like a like a, like a a class A or something for them. She'll she'll tell her mouth, yeah. She'll tell her mouth, yeah. Yeah, she'll tell her mouth, you try and do it herself. The yeah. telly's hers all she day. She controls the TV, that's why I'm on the computer all day. Yeah. Cat. She controls the telly. Ooh. She does. She does. It's like from 8 in the morning to like, she gets so to no bed. Else watches it. She like, watches TV from 8 in the morning till bed? I'm almost positive that she has trouble putting her to sleep every night. Control tennis. And she throws mad temper tantrums all the time. There seems to be a chain of um, not having good mum interaction skills. And it seems to be going down the family, starting from grandma to mum to daughter to their daughter. And, you know, you've got four generations there. And it could hit a fifth if the pattern don't get amended. No, Next up, it's the breakfast run to McDonald's. I, got, I gotta agree with that. When it was when she take away breakfast, I, that's the one I really, really couldn't get around. I didn't even let my daughter have chocolate cereals in the morning. <laughs> At the Greens in Nottingham, Shantae has got herself ready. And with early morning chores already done, she's off to the gym. She does swimming six days a week. Outside activities away from swimming, she hasn't got. Your life is promoting. Yeah, her nah, from I, swimming. I'm not gonna tell you like this. Nobody is right, 100% right here though. So a lot Either of your is pushed into her swimming. A lot of your effort and your time is pushed into her swimming. Yeah. You are promoting. You and Tracy yeah. are doing everything for her, right? Because you want to do the best for her. I am doing exactly the same. I want the best for my children, so I give my children. The best. But that isn't being the best for them. Why isn't they're it? Spoiling, like I said. But what's learning. wrong with spoiling your kids? What's wrong with spoiling? Them? They don't respect or they do. gratitude. For they do deep down, I think. You're no. right. They do a deep down. That's cap. They don't, and we've seen it. <laughs> I think. But then, well, no, no. Oh, yeah. in fact, your older daughter is showing you gratitude by by going out all night partying and coming home, laying up with her boyfriend, and letting you take care of her child. That ain't gratitude. Yeah. Take that back. You brainwashed. I too. hope that they respect me. You're doing really great. While the family enjoy yet more TV time, you too. this is Morning. Tracy's had to pick up the second takeaway of the day. Hello. Takeaway all day. Hey. See, so it time, didn't you? The chip shop was absolutely rammed. Was it? Leave it there. Food. Do you want a can of pop? In a minute. Um, Jess. Do you eat out to puppets, plates, whatever, please? You know, if you and Chips and gravy. Did cook every night. Do you think you prefer that than takeaways? I'm just curious because obviously it's the only second <coughs> time I've been here and had two takeaways. Uh, I prefer takeaway. Really? Yeah, as long as I can like to pick them. It's about £25 the wasted on tonight's dinner. I yeah, that's a lot of money and it's a lot of unnecessary fat, like calorie intake. Something I've got bad stomach already, I have. Dinner in the greenhouse is a healthier option with Shantae's special training diet. Whoever comes in first has got to start dinner because Shantae has to go swimming and she has to eat for a certain time. So we have to get dinner done as quick as we can. Like I could, I could dig what they're saying. If the if my child has made the choice to want to be an athlete, then yes, I'm I'm gonna be all in for you. Let me. I, all right, Dan. If you want to be an athlete, you want to get be ahead of everybody else trying to be an athlete. Let's do it. But they would have to make that choice. Like I'm not making that choice with my child. Like I'm gonna give. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lead you to this water. And if you choose to do whatever, whatever my daughter chooses to do, I'm going to rock out with it. 
no matter what it is. As long as it's, you know what I'm saying, like, obviously something, you know. After dinner, the family's evening is devoted to Shantae swimming. But she's up down that line for an hour. It's too competitive for an 11-year-old. It's just too much competition in anything now, and in sports as well. I know the government are so in people should compete then. No, I, no, that's not what I said. It's not. If she's made the choice, it's not. What I'm saying is she's 11. The the level. She's 11. Yeah, but they start, at, they start at four and five. Not, well, that's wrong. So it's you, what you want your daughter to do. They're doing an exercise. My daughter, Sam, pole dancer. She's around a pole all night and day, all night. That's, she is physically fit. So how many times does she train her? She does, she goes, as she works, that's her training when she works, and she does that four days a week, four nights a week. So do you really want your daughter to do that then? Do I want her to? Yeah. It makes her happy then. There's no difference between you supporting Sean and everything she does and backing her 100% because that's something she loves to do. And there's no difference to me and my daughter who chooses to lap dance and pole dance because that's something she wants to do. What I'm saying to you but is... It, it's coming across as if that's something that you, you think is disgusting. I find it wrong, yes. Do you? Lap dancers. Prostitutes, they're different. That's, but they a, do that's cross a real over. general. Like, that's a gen. That's but a, they do cross over. No, they don't. No, they yes, they do. I live in Miami. I'm telling you, yes, they do. They don't because you're comparing that somebody's a lap dancer or a pole dancer is also into prostitution, and they're not. Ninety-five percent in Miami. That that's the rate. It's rare that it's not like that. Didn't say. I says it's you a crossover. Cross well, they don't. Some do. Delusional. Well, not as far as I'm aware, they don't. And I think that's a. That's your daughter, then. Yeah. But he more or less insinuated that, you know, if you're a lap dancer and a pole told dance, you're a prostitute. I thought, hang on, that's my daughter you're talking about there, <laughs> mate. You know, that's you want to find a line here because I will flip. In the Ramsey house, Ginny's extreme views cause concern for Tracy. Maybe not all Easter. I'm not racist, but I just don't like Asian people as fuck. Well, like they're bloody hate. I'm not racist, but I just don't like Asian people as fuck. Well, like they're. Then you're racist. I bloody hate. Why? I just do. Uh, I can't. He just wants to go out and shoot them. Why? No, it's yeah, not it's like that. No, it's no, but we're just. So every time I go to apply for a job. I walk in the next day, that's someone I didn't see there before, and then I did. That's, that's the Yeah, but what, what if you, you know, if you met somebody, cos, and they was really nice, would the fact that they're Asian cloud your... Well, no, if they're all right, no. Oh, right. right, so it's not just Asian per no, se. Right. They're not, they're not. What about you? It's general people. It's the majority of... So, in other words, it's... Is it the... This is sad. This is passed down from generation. This is... This is... Hate is not learn. Hate is not uh, picked up. It's taught. It's taught from from the top down. That's yeah, awesome. but not all Asians are terrible. Yeah, I know, but it's like most of them are. You can't just say I don't like you. You're Asian. I was surprised that Dad didn't pull pull her up for it. Really. Do you think you're the stricter parent or your wife? Um, I used to be the disciplinarian, but Chris reckons I'm, I was too too strict with them. You find the cheeky now. And that's see see what I said about her. You see what I said about earlier about oh I would never stop a woman from doing what I would never hover up like and, sh and your wife should have never stopped you from doing what you was doing because that's what a man's job is supposed to be, and that's why your oldest daughter is on that pole. Allegedly, is is what I would think. You're not disciplined. Oh yeah, definitely. So you've have you thought to going back to saying? And um, it's too late now. Never too late. N never too late. One hundred percent. Never too late. The rules of the house allow the boyfriends of nineteen-year-old Sam and sixteen-year-old Ginny to regularly stay over. That's a no. Unfortunately, last night. You know, I could hear Sam and a boyfriend through the wall. Well, Jess was in the room. I didn't hear Jess wake up. But surely, if I could hear it from my bed here, and I'm not, my bed's not on the wall, and it was loud, then Dad's got to have heard that. And to be honest with you, I felt like knocking on the door and saying, do you mind? That's disrespectful. Yes, yeah, she has no respect for her dad at that point. 
no way would I let Shonda have a boyfriend stop over. Not if she was living at home at 26, I wouldn't. Talk about it. Talk about it. Definitely think it's going to rain, Ben. It's the weekend. My daughter wouldn't want to do that. Out of respect. <laughs> That's what happens when your kids don't respect you. And, but in the green home, there is no time to relax. So you dye them inside out first, and then, then just turn quick them in. rush on the outside. But yeah. you ain't gonna see the inside of them unless you do something. No, that I don't but it's know. like double uh, getting the crease of that. It drives me barmy because it's it's like I'm. But I've got to do something. Get this there. Because with you, the amount of steam you're using there, yeah. you'd probably get away with it. It's like move out my way. That's like my role. It's a bit too controlling. Ends way or no way. That's how I feel. You know. That's stopping on my rule change day. I don't think either. Like I said, not, neither one of these families are like one hundred percent. Nobody can is perfect. Nobody's parenting techniques is perfect. Period. But they are both on opposite ends of the extreme, though. <laughs> While Ben keeps the garden under control, Chris grabs some time with Shantae. Uh, most of these are just from gala, school galas. So what was the first medal you ever got? This one. That was at my old club. Uh, do you think swimming's quite competitive? Yeah. See, this is what I'd be looking for when I'd be looking for, like, a... a like a wife or when a man is looking for when me personally if I'm looking for a wife I'm, I need I, you can't be the exact same as me because <laughs> when we have kids something is going to slip through the cracks that I'm not going to be like no <laughs> we got to be opposites a little bit <laughs> so if you don't see something I'm going to tell you if I don't see something that you, I would normally see you would or you would normally like we, we would catch each other's short haps or whatever. Yeah, but you've got to be. What about the girls that you swim with? Basically, they're my target kind of thing. But do you think there's other, other things other than swimming that you'd like to do? I like everything. Mm. But I think if I didn't go swimming, then I'll just, I don't know. Then I'll just be, I get lazy and that. And mm. then I'd like. Is that what you're frightened of then? If you don't go swimming, that you become lazy? Yeah. So who put you, set you on to swimming then? Was that your mum? My mum. Yeah, your mum. Obviously. She's not letting Shantae be a child. She's been a, made a clone of her mother. In that, you know, because Tracy didn't get to do it. Tra yeah, see? Tracy's whole, her, the mom failed athlete pushing your daughter to be in the same sport and make it. I don't like that. I don't like that. She's infringing. Her values on Shantae, and that she's you will go swimming, you will do this, you will do that, but there's nothing else has been encouraged. No other outside curriculum, there's more to life than swimming up and down a piscine pool all day. In Birmingham, Tracy is having a night out Ramsey style, she's going swinging. No, what do you want to drink? Uh, Jack, Jack, Daniels, Jack Daniels and Coke, please. Jack Daniels and Coke, right? And I'll have uh, Southern Coke. Jack and Coke. That's a suspension unit. Um, you can use it for different things, to be honest. But it's for fetish. This is fetish, your serial masochist. Yeah, yeah. Um, so do you want to be shoved up with your wrists? Yes, you probably you don't. Go. I've always thought that people that swing, as there's got to be something missing in the relationship, because if you're happy in what you had, then there wouldn't be a third party involved. Do you want to stand on there and I can show you? No, no, no. Thank you anyway. <laughs> yeah. Is there something missing in the relationship to feel the need to have, to have, not have to, but to have sex out of the marriage? We find it brings us closer together because we have um, our fantasies. Instead of, Instead of him having a here, fantasy and me yeah. having a fantasy, we have we can talk about and have a dual fantasy yeah, and yeah. fulfill yeah. that fantasy too. you got to be super like-minded to do this. Together. But to just go out and have sex with someone, and, it, and sorry, I didn't mean to, it meant nothing. To me, why do it then? Wow. Because we're men, we're animals. Why do Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's no. a natural urge, yeah. isn't it? That but but, but we're, we're on different scales with mm. that. You've got to be very careful how, how you approach it. Yeah. You, you can't force it. No. But tonight, talk about swinging is as far as Tracy is prepared to go. I ain't gonna lie, 
God, that was just the wildest scene. That I <laughs> UK television is crazy. It's rule change day, and both wives are keen to make oh. their mark. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Oh yeah, we want to make some people mad now. I'm not doing it to annoy the kids, I'm doing it to get them to communicate. Restaurants, Chinese is. Like one family is super uptight, they do need to relax a little bit, and then the other family is like way too relaxed. They need some type of order. She sold it What do you think? This family has far too much discipline and authority, and not enough fun together. You all live in this family, but you don't tend to function properly together as a family, united. You're trying very hard, okay? I know that you, you love your swimming, um, but I feel you need to take a week off. A week? We're going to spend a girly day out. Get your nails done, look at some clothes, have some pizza in your bedroom, some ice cream, some pop, some music. She do need to like y'all need to let that girl be a kid at least once or twice out the week. Like so you mm. clean up after that. Oh absolutely. You're not touching it. I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna do it when I'm gonna do it. Not as she drops them. Sam, you probably won't like me saying this, but I think Jess watches too much television. You know I think she's an intelligent kid. <coughs> and I know what you're gonna say. I have enrolled her in a nursery. I know to the point in nursery. I'd be quite happy to wait until she's in preschool or something. Well, you're in. You, you almost said it. Ah. You, by the time. Your kid, if you don't. If you're not doing the proper things at home between the ages of one and four, your kid is going to be so behind when preschool time comes, it's going to be ridiculous. Like, all TV, your kid. She was going to be behind. But I don't want to go into nursery. Ben. And why not put her in nursery? You be sleep anyway. Grandma be taking care You ain't taking care of it, so of course it's, oh, why? But, yeah, you ain't got no responsibilities when it comes to her. You need to loosen up your attitude. No more household chores. You do far too much in this house. Who's going to do it all? Me. I will. So no more cooking, it's takeaways, or we eat out. You can turn to a right roly-poly. Absolutely, it can be a rock roly-poly. Ben has to be a couch potato. He's not allowed to do anything. If so there's something on the floor, then we can't, like, pick it up. Or even if, like, you get out of bed and, like, your bed's messy, you can't tidy it up, which I'm still going to do. I think she's punishing me. And uh, she was trying to say, how? I said... Like, them together, him... Well, the thing. With the woman that's in his house right now, that's the yin and yang thing that I'll be looking for. Like, let me be the strict, you be the loose parents, and together our kid will be great. The household will be great. We'll figure it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As long as we can find a common ground in between both, it's going to be solid. <laughs> both strict or both lazy. It's crazy to me. Things you know I don't like doing, the things you've got me doing, the things I like doing, you're stopping me from doing. That says to me that's punishing someone. Ray, I don't think you pull your weight in the marriage. Mm. I think that Chris does tend to baby you a bit. Mm. Um, you've said before that you think that the kids do take the mick and you don't agree with the behaviour and disrespect at times. Yeah. So I need you to tackle this. I personally don't agree with the kids having the partners stay over, as I personally find it disrespectful. I wouldn't let my daughter. Very do it. disrespectful. Tracy's rules may not be popular with the women, but the man of the house is a willing convert. To the new rules. To the new rules. I have Alexis run the house. She wanted to. I've rightly or wrongly, I've sat back and let her. So yes, Ramsey strikes back. Ram the Ramsey man is going to be a dad again. Ramsey man's first mission is to take charge in the kitchen. That's what I'm saying, bro. Got his, he got his testosterone snatched from him by his wife. Like that's tough. Let that man be a man, and he let you be a woman. Like don't tell, don't, don't, don't do that. Kitchen. 
Um, it, it's nice to do this because I've never done this before. I if I'd have had my way, you say. You overcooking that thing, but okay. I'd have, uh, it's done. It's done. But it's off the heat before now. But Tracy just told me it would have been raw. Hello. And, and where's the seasoning? You ain't got no lorries. <laughs> can we have um, chicken balls in the batter? Yeah. And can we have some chips? In Nottingham, Shantae's training diet is the first thing to go. Oh, come right. Looks quite nice, actually. Does it tastes all right. Yeah. She should definitely have a cheat meal. Like, come on now. She's 11 on a diet. I'm pretty sure they're hitting all major categories and she's getting the maximum of whatever she needs to stay healthy and strong as a child. But, like, Sometimes occasional. Like I know I keep saying that, but I really am. It looks quite nice, actually. Say? It tastes all right. Yeah. Something to write, porker. I know I keep saying that, but I really am. Today, as part of the rule changes, Chris is taking Shantae on a shopping spree. Nice. About her becoming a young lady and having fun. And the emphasis being on fun, because at the moment she's not having that much yeah I, I kind of agree on this home front man but if she would have came, continued on the same path when she got 18 it was gonna be crazy gotta experience fun before it gets too crazy oh they're nice oh, babe. do you feel comfortable in them yeah. yeah you could buy those and I just said to Ben as we're walking around I'll tell you what you get those for Shantae it's like, uh, okay, if I, should I buy it, then she can be back later. I went, no, you buy them for her, so let's spoil her. And the look of shock on his face, because I've got to, he's got to get his wallet out. Next, we're going Charles. to go to a designer shop, Sean. Sean. Up there, there's a designer yeah, shop. Well, no, we'll have a look. Have We've got Ben. Look. He's got a platinum card. Oh, yeah. He's got a platinum a card. We'll have a look and see what's in there. All right. We'll treat ya. We'll have some fun. It's nice to spoil them now and then. It is, as long as they thank you for it. But if they get used to it, then they're not grateful for it. Right. Right, babe. Huh? What, what do you like and what you don't like? Do you like the jeans? I don't think they look right. They look lovely, aren't they? Nice, aren't you? Especially with that thing. Don't worry about them and me. I don't want them though. She's like trying to force me to buy these clothes that I didn't want to buy, you know. But I didn't want Ben to buy them because I didn't, I didn't want them. Thank you very much. Bye. bye. Uh, she didn't want them on Ben's behalf, though. All right, bye. Bye. Thank you, anyway. What's it's not about Ben spending money. It's about Ben spending time and letting Sean Ty grow up into a young lady and have fun. And have fun. Under Tracy's new rules, 16-year-old Ginny is due home at 10.30. It's now 11.15. Where's Ginny? Aaron's. What now? Right, can I have the phone to phone, please, somebody? Hello, Ginny. I want you home now, please. Come on. Principal of it is. We agreed, eh? on, we agreed on half past... It's the first time bro did that. She was trying to twist it. She was trying to say that you said as long as she didn't stay in the same yes, room. The, the difference is, Ray, I said half past ten for a start, it's quarter past eleven. So what's she doing out of the house? Mm. Now, 45 if she minutes asked late. Her 11, oh, 10, was, 10 was my first deadline. She said 11. It, it just seems every time I negotiate with Ginny, she takes the. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm swearing, but. You're right, you're right. You're so I think what I've learned with, with Ginny is don't negotiate. No, yeah, just, just I've don't negotiate. Out an hour after curfew, Ginny finally appears. What do you mean? Why are you in trouble, Ginny? I said half past ten. Yeah, I had, oh. I'm watching back round. But well, you don't you, know, you don't walk anyone back. I'm watching round to get his keys. But you, you don't. don't walk That's what I'm saying. I've come home at half past ten. We agreed. It, it, what it seems, Ginny, every time I negotiate with you, you take the mic. Yeah, you, you do. Take the mic. mic. I was in yesterday. It did on half ten. You want it tonight? I didn't give you a half. I walked it back ten. round. I mean, half eleven yesterday. You don't gotta walk him around. He's the man. He can drop you off and do it by himself. I want him back round to get his keys. You're not supposed to be out, don't you understand? 
Half ten, we said. Yeah, I was back for half ten. I don't give a sh Half ten, we said. At the end of the day, you should have been in. You shouldn't have been out. Or yeah. did you go out the house? To get his keys? What, have you got to get his keys? going to meet his dad. You're making excuses, you? Oh, am I making excuses? To be excuses? honest with you, to be honest with you, Ray, we're asking for this because we're we're standing there explaining ourselves. You don't need to explain yourself, I know. No, I don't. From. We're not really. I'll tell you something. You can give your dad your mobile for a start. You can tell me with your mobile. And don't go anywhere tomorrow. We're going anywhere. Well, that's good. So. <laughs> ah, punishments. No, it isn't all that. That, that, that at the moment. I'm not being rude. I've given you my phone. You go to your room. Well, at the moment, that's what I've said. You can say bye to Aaron. Too dumb, rude. Ian. I'm thanking Paul. You ain't. Yeah, thank him, Paul. Yeah, that's what I've just done. Uh, sorry, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to kill her. And I just wanted to give up. I just wanted to think, no, I said I've had enough. If I can't see my boyfriend, then. You've seen your boyfriend all day. All day. <laughs> Just be home at 10.30. You've been seeing that man from wake up to, to 10.30, Luke. Why should I stick it out? I tried to suggest me to basically go back to our wives, we're discipline-wise, uh, for, this, for this task. And I don't see why I don't carry on. I don't see why, because I think I'm getting more out of it. You know, short term, mm -hmm. OK, the kids want to talk to me, but I think long term, they'll benefit. It's facts. Right, I've, yeah, I've noticed you've tidied up in here. Just wants a good Uber in, really. Chris has taken over the household chores, but Ben's finding it hard to <laughs> let go. Like I say, the table could do with a good cleaning. But we haven't used it, so why does it need a good cleaning? Sean should have done it, but when you change the rules, you didn't do it the next day. It's fine. So if we're not doing it the next day, it's been But we like haven't that. used it. It's a bit of dust. That ain't dust, that's crumbs. All oh, right. Well. You've got crumbs everywhere. Sean's usually tidies up the shoes around here. Mm. But it's a hallway, you put things in a hallway. Yeah, you Jeez. do, but if you're going towards upstairs, it's a tripping hazard. <laughs> no, it's just, but it is. Um, and he's a he really is a he's, he's like, I like I'm living with an 80-year-old. Not, I know he's a yeah. little bit older than me, but not that Let's get negative. Let's get <laughs> negative. Talking behind that man back, <laughs> he whispered in his house, that's negativity. And that? Yeah, did that on purpose. No, that's the coffee machine, oh, actually, yeah. the lid on the coffee machine. I didn't do that on purpose, oh. seriously, that's a coffee lid thing. What I'm saying is, it would have been cleaned up. I don't think about things like that until I'm doing them. Hmm. But it's like you're walking around going, it's Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it's like, say, slippers there. I don't think. He is nitpicking. And she's tripping up them. And that's that bothered you now, those slippers there. But no cap, as soon as I do something, I, I normally clean it up. Like that's just, just that's just how I was taught. I was raised by women, so it's like, you, like, gotta clean up after yourself. Yeah, that's because it, to me it's a tripping hazard. Okay. In the Ramsey house, Tracy's rules are starting to pay off. I do understand. I was in the wrong last night, and I'm sorry for that. I went raving mad, but I was. Quite. I was more let down. I felt let down. That's the thing I didn't let happen. I, mean, I, I said I was raised by women. I ain't say nothing about all women being the same. I said I was raised by women. <laughs> the woman I was raised by. <laughs> I was like, oh. But I do understand all women ain't the same. Some women dirty, some women not dirty. Some men dirty, some men not dirty. You, you got to go whatever you got to go with. Man. Well, you know, obviously. I'm not going to argue with you because... Um, Cleaning up after yourself should just be... the. It should just be innate. Like, what do you... If I spill something on the floor, I'm walking away from it? No. What, what, are, you, what are we even talking about right there? And then you have children and you expect it to be any different? They see you spill something and walk away, they're going to do, do it too. And then they're going to do it at other people's house. So they're going to be looking at you like, bro, what are you teaching? You got no home training? Do your parents... No. You are a reflection of me, and that reflection got to be me. Period. I ain't out here teaching no wrong. I mean, I, okay, now, I'm not saying I'm not perfect. Because me and my daughter, we be listening to rap. We be doing all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? We be turned up. But at the end of the day, respect is going to be respect. 
You hear me? Like, respect for the crib, respect for somebody else's crib, respect in your elders. Like, you're not doing that. Period. I'm not going to raise my voice because you're not my mum. I have more respect yeah, for you. Yeah, they learn by example, for sure. For exactly. Tracy now has some time off, as Sam has taken on all the mothering duties for baby Jess. <laughs> and you see how quick they adapted? <laughs> when them rules was put into place, do you see how quick they adapted? Yes, they showed argument at the first day, but Sam was out there. Who? The, Sam was the one that she was talking to outside? She was like, you know what, you're right. Of course. <laughs> of course. It's in it's nature. That's that's in like come on now. He's actually making a big difference to my life. And I actually just sit there thinking it's actually quite a good thing. And the more and more I think about it, the more and more I like the changes and the more and more I actually of course, it's <laughs> I tell, like it's easy to fall in line when stuff is in already in your nature. Like, uh, she see myself as being a different person, which is a good thing. Are you tired, Jess? Don't you dare go to sleep. Under her new rules, Tracy is making Sam put Jess into nursery and find a job. I've seen a lot of bad tempered kids come out of nursery and I've seen them swearing and things like that and I don't want Jess that for Jess. Jess is quite content with just me. She's learning a lot from me as it is. And I'm sure she does. Yeah, that's it. With Sam, this is a very touchy subject. It's a very an emotional subject. Um, as a mother, you, you always try and give 100%. So what I'm a little bit apprehensive is, is I don't want, I'm not here to make her feel a bad mum, I'm here to help, try and help her be a, be a better mum, I suppose. Yeah, and that's the key. Some toys. It's a real thin line. It's some toys, it's some children. Yeah. She's gonna drop that daughter off, she's gonna run and go play. Easy, run, I'm talking. She's gonna have the best time of her life at this daycare. This is mum, by the way. Okay. You're all right. <laughs> Internet, ready? And we have to help Shantae keep in touch with her friends and have more fun, Chris has moved the computer into her bedroom. No, not in the bedroom. To have access to it, yes, but in the bedroom, <laughs> I don't know about that. No, what no, does Tracy no. use then? What do you mean, what does Tracy well, use? It's stuck in this room. The other room is the computer. Tracy room. can come in and use it? Yeah, mm -hmm. but Tracy looks at the computer at night time. She can still do it. She, but she, she just has to do it. Bed. We well, do it together as a group, as Sean's a family. Sean's to Sean's likes to listen to music and yeah. do her pictures like that. Yeah, let her do it. Right, so to me... It's called playing. Just a week, Sam, like, I mean, uh, buddy. Ain't Ben. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's called playing. Playing It's called what? having fun. You're supposed to be her parents. I'm also supposed to... You're supposed I'm to be her parents. I'm also supposed to be a garden and explain to her, understand that you don't get everything just like that. No, just that's like about, that. no, that's just you, Ben. No, just that's like you. that. It's not just like that. It's just a like computer, that. every child should have a computer in their home. Every we child. We have got a computer no, in their home. you control no. the computer. On, you control what she does computer. and what she doesn't do. Right, You're the you one that by. says, no, but what I'm saying, it's just like that in my... 2024, all kids have a laptop, 100%. But you see, the thing about me is, <laughs> at a certain time, you can't be on there. Simple. I'll cut the Wi-Fi off. They both right. And they both wrong at the same time. Both of them. Face isn't just... You should. You can't do... Th the way you control everybody in this house, Ben, yeah. is under your rules, right? right? Well, yeah. She's an 11-year-old girl, and yeah. this is a life for her. Do you want the computer this in is... your room, Chance? I'm not really bothered. Do you want the computer in your room, Chance? Mm, double question. Why would you even bring her into it? That's L dad. <laughs> that's L dad. Well, you gonna put your daughter on the spot like that? I know that's his stepdaughter, but dang. Not really, not uh, I like she it. don't know. Let it go, my boy. What do you mean? Well, tell See, mom. she likes tell it in mom, her room. She'd become a child again. She's gone from a shy girl. I don't know, you know, it's taken some time for her to get used to me. I believe if she really wants to be a swimmer, she could do all the things that she wants to do 
as the as as the swimming routine calls for and be a child at the same time. But our whole personality's changed. It's as if, yeah, I'm allowed to do this. Now when she get in high school, she might have to lock in a little longer harder. Then when she get in college, she really gonna have to lock in. But you know, college is college. I can have fun. And I can become, you know, me. She's become an individual as opposed to Ben telling her what she can do. How is she not a child? Somebody asked in the chat, how is she not a child? Uh, I, I'm not sure if you was watching this whole time. She's 11. They had her on a strict diet. They had her on uh, six times a week. Um, six times a week training regimen. Uh, that's not childlike. I ain't even going to lie to you. Like I was a hoop, I was an athlete growing up. I was a hooper. Like so, I I was do I was able to do both. You know what I'm saying? That that's too that's crazy. <laughs> well, Jess is at nursery. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with how they got it, but like you gotta let it like. She, do she got friends? Like damn. Tracy's taking Sam to learn to teach pole dancing. You can be. He said, I used to play football. We was training four times a week. I understand that. And for hoop, for basketball, I trained seven days a week. But I still had a life. as I was still able to be a child outside of that. You, I'm pretty sure you were still able to be a child, too. If you wanted to go to the food court, get a burger, you could go get a burger. If you wanted to holler at your friends through a cell phone or text your friends, you could probably do that. Like You know what I'm saying? If you wanted to go see a movie, you could probably go see a movie. I don't think Shorty was doing none of that in here. <laughs> Be a mom, not a part-time mom. You can spend time with Jess, hence the nursery, and also do this as for a living for a nine to five Monday to Friday job. Jump up, no legs, and stay there as long as you can. Oh yeah, you should try. So she can still come home, she can be a mom to Jess, and she can also have a separate passion. Because um, she's only young and it gets a bit boring being a mom. Do it like that. If I get the qualifications and I do it, then I won't be working as a lap dancer. I'll be doing the teaching. I'll be like a normal job, so I get to spend more time with Jeff. Now this is, I mean, pole dancing, low key. Let me be real with you. Pole dancing is a real true, is a true talent. There's a difference between a stripper and a pole dancer. They're not the same. They can be, but they're not the same. All strippers cannot pole dance. Like the, I'm talking like Miami tight style. Climb the pole, do some tricks, hold it with your only arm, lock it in with your only your lip. Like that, that's that's real talent. Like I'll be impressed. Allegedly, I'm not saying I've never seen it, but allegedly, I'll be impressed. Yes. Tracy's career plan for Sam is going well. Jess. But she's yet to convince her about nursery for Jess. Well, Jess, look, Jess had the time of her life. Question of all. You said you was going to assess her behaviour. <coughs> what did you assess? My first impressions are good, all good. I'm glad she enjoyed herself. It looked like she enjoyed herself, so I'm happy. Ow. Half a Carlin, please. And a Carlsberg. Point. Ray's usual idea of a romantic night out is to take his wife swinging. But Tracy's keen to show him there's other ways to spend time together. What do you think Chris would signify as being romantic that would mean a lot to you that you could do? Well, I suppose um, just going off at random and giving her a, a peck. You know, giving her a peck on the cheek, like, you know. I bet you any money if she comes home and you've cooked a dinner, she'll probably fall off a chair, but I tell I you something. I probably would as well. I tell you something, though, it would mean the world to her. I think we've got a definite lack of communication. Yeah. And when she comes back, we're gonna, uh, I'm going to address it. Seriously. Hot to hot. I didn't realise how she felt. And I don't think you do. You take, you take See? each other for granted. See, Brendy? And so, really, I mean, this is a lifeline, I think. See what I'm saying? She said in the, in the, in the, in the chat, they said, uh, my nephew plays football for his high school and plays soccer on the weekend for his local club and still has time to be a 14-year-old child. It, it's possible. I'm telling you, it's possible to play to play a sport at a high level, or want to reach a high level and still be a child to a certain extent. Like you could still, you know what I'm saying? It's all right. It'll do us good. 
They said Call it. Call the pop. Oh. Lovely. Call those E yeah. numbers. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Chris's campaign to spoil Shantae continues with a party for her friends. I believe that Shantae wants her friends to stay over and she wants to eat with them. She has to clean up her own mess. I don't think if, if I brought my mates around and I'd have to clean my mess up. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Hey, your friends can come over, they can spend the night, but they got to clean up their mess. I don't even think, I think this might be her first sleepover. She <laughs> wants her mates to have a party. That's what she wants. And she wants to eat with them. She has to clean up her own mess. I don't think if, if I brought my mates around and I'd have to clean my mess up. So she won her mates to have a party. That's what she wants. Then she can have it, but she needs to clean up. He's obsessed, this man. Absolutely obsessed with controlling people. You're gaining a, a, a daughter that's enjoying herself. And that's fair, and though. Learning to clean up after yourself. But he just doesn't get it. He just doesn't grasp it. And he can't, oh, surely he can't be that thick. <laughs> When I first That's met cool, Chris, man. like, because I don't I, feel I like she like, did this. I thought I wasn't going to get on with her, and I thought like she was going to be one of these people who didn't who didn't believe in working and didn't believe in like cleaning and didn't believe, just like stuff like that. So, but I've I've got on with her, and. She's a really nice lady. Hello, Grandma. Yes, please go back home. Chris's style of parenting is proving less popular with Ben and his friends. Anything she wants, I will go and get her. Oh. Do I think my kids respect, respect me? Yeah. I hope they respect me. But you can't say whether they do or not. No. You should know. I hope. No, I hope my kids. Well, I, I hope my kids respect me and are not in fear of me. I used to have rules. I, I have done that. You will do as I say. And they've yeah, left. Yeah, but what are you worried and about then? Left. I'm not worried about anything. No, I'm not worried about anything. I don't know, I'm just asking you. No, You're I'm not worried about, about leaving. Absolutely nothing about my kids. If they want to leave home, that is their choice. But at least I know... But you're trying to keep it, them there. No, I'm not. If you're buying them food for them, yeah. they're going to stay there. Well, of course they would, wouldn't you? Precisely. <laughs> I will move into your they're house. They're my kids. I'm not just going to stop giving them what they want when they yeah, reach 16. To me, buying you them. ain't having no more money because you're now 16. You're buying your kids. I'm not buying my kids. Oh, my God. It's okay. <laughs> I feel like it's okay. Like, But you've got to tell your kids no occasionally. Like, nah, 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 nah. Even though I can go get it, but nah. <laughs> Nah, I just need you to be used to hearing the word no because if you only hear yes and you become an adult, that's not real life. Real life is not yes. You're buying them to be there. No, I'm not. You are. You're paying for everything. You're buying them. No, they live at home because they choose to live at home. Because, because you're buying them. 100. <laughs> I let my mama say, hey, live here rent free. I'm going to pay for your food. I'm going to watch your child four days a week. I might oblige. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I think the conversations I've had um, just how much my kids probably don't respect me when I thought they did. Damn. Um, we knew, but we knew from five minutes in they didn't. <laughs> I really thought, you know... They love you. It's not about discipline, because discipline and respect are two different things. Um, but the more, like Ben says to me, do your kids respect you? I can't answer him truth because I don't, I don't think they do. That's rough. <laughs> so, things are going to have to change at home. But they already have. It's the end of the swap and time for the wives to return to their families. I can't wait to get home, but I still feel a little bit sad about saying goodbye to the girls. I don't need to go to a white to work. I feel like I was really into this reaction. <laughs> uh, hey, it's a 47 minute reaction and we are one hour and four minutes. A weekend therapy course, because I think I've just learnt that in my last few days. Da -da. Our well, family is functioning a lot more like a family now. We're talking and uh, we're getting things resolved, doing it that way. This one of those reactions, if people actually watch it, like, you, you're going to, your emotions are going to get stirred up. So I shall keep that up. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Wait a minute in the chat. What is going on? Ah. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Chris, nice to meet you. Hello, Hobby. The first thing I went in with was a discipline. Mm. Um, the lovely kids, but they kind of had no structure. They just did what they wanted. I've discovered over this last week or so, the last two weeks, that my kids take the yeah. out of me and they have took the out of me. Don't There's no discipline you. in my home, but I wouldn't want it as disciplined as yours. No, you just meet halfway. You know, if you just put... No, you can't meet... You, well, how do you meet halfway in your house? Because it seems to me but it's me, all Ben's way in that house. No, me and Sean's have... We really get on. We never fall out. Well, you don't have a close relationship as you think you do, Shantae. I'll tell you now. You well, don't. I'm glad maybe I don't because, because I... your house is a house. It's not a home. Shantae is too old-headed. She's 11 years yeah. old. I... And she scares me in that she's very swimming orientated and it seems you're trying to live out your swimming in her because obviously that's from a, what that's I gather, a beam be that's a buck mm -hmm. and then obviously for one reason mm -hmm. you then stopped doing that and Ashante loves her swimming I'm not taking I would never take that away from her but she lacks other things everything like her friends like Ben says she's allowed one person I to didn't start. say she's allowed one person you did Ben I don't want more than one stopping no well she had a, oh, she well. a sleepover um, yeah, in the bedroom, are, and she was you. one different child last week to this, ch this the child this week. I've never heard her laugh so much. She's allowed to relax more. She's not been uptight about what she does or what she doesn't mm -hmm. do in the house. I've always said that, and yeah. I like I said, I've he's told, told, told me I tell her he's all the time told me that. that she's eleven. I spend a lot of time with her with her swimming. You know, I'm the main driver of that, but I've realised that I need to take time. Mm -hmm to allow her to be a child more. Well, if I've got anything out of this, it's, it's uh, um, I've took I'm glad control. they can sit together as adults and not have a, sm a smoking argument. Because this is like, like when it comes to kids, like you, like an argument can start like this. I swear to God, like, it, like, like, don't tell me how to parent. Like, don't, like, I, like, constructive criticism and and like telling somebody what to do with their child, like it's a very, very thin line. Or the kid. You took it back. Yeah, you should need to back. You need to back her as well. Then you need to back off as well in your back. Yeah. I'll back her all the way now. That's what you but should But I am going to be the main, the dominant force. Mm -hmm. Not Chris, it'll yeah. be me now. Where You're the man. concerned is he's obsessed with Things in the house like you've got to have a bin. No, and but you're working too hard. No, but you, you're working too hard. And what I do is help he Tracy does a out. Inspection, that, that a room inspection. Mm. If he had a whistle, Captain Von Trapp, mm. yeah, it's yeah. very regimental, very structured where, in the house. And I'm not saying my house over, is perfect. You're, yes. You find it very hard to stand back and let uh, somebody else. Him back, not really, though. because I find it boring just doing nothing. Yeah. I went to a swinging club, by the way. Did you? And so, just to understand what it was all about, and I mm. said to you, didn't I? Honestly, yeah. if you have to do that, do you think there's something missing in your marriage? Question mark. Mm. And he said, no, our marriage is perfect. Mm. And I said to him, you know what? It ain't perfect. I'm definitely going to be more romantic for him. Definitely. If she comes downstairs looking lovely, and I say, it gets to her, and I stop. Oh, yeah, no. instead of saying, yeah, told me that. Oh, you look lovely. And I, say, I know it's only a couple of words, but I don't. Mm. I don't say. That's one thing I had to learn, low key. Like, you, like, a lot of men be thinking, like, oh man, my girl know I love her. My girl know I think she look good. But if you tell her, it hit different. <laughs> you gotta tell her. You, you, if you got a girl and you think, oh man, she knows, she knows I love her. No, tell her. <laughs> That's a, this is good advice. That's some strong advice that she just gave. You got to tell that woman because if you don't, guess who is? Her work husband. <laughs> and then when her work husband is them cheeks, you're going to be wondering why. Well, let me tell you why. You never gave that girl a compliment. You feel me? Go ahead and give that girl a compliment. You know what I'm saying? Don't get lazy. It's okay. Listen, you chased your wife before she was your wife. Continue to chase her. With compliments and give them flock, continue it. And I should. should. It, that, that's a bean right there. He's keeping it real. A lot of us as men, we don't be knowing that stuff. We be oblivious to it. He's uh, contempt and he said taking the words, it for granted. Didn't you? And that's going to change. God. Look I at her. Cry now, Look, she about to cry. She's so 
Thank God. <laughs> she like, yes. <laughs> Look, she didn't got emotional about that. <laughs> See? Yeah. 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 In the month since the swap, there oh, have okay. been big changes in the greenhouse. I think it gave me the power to say, you know, something. Nah, I'm not weird, bro. Weird. That was weird of him to do that. I, that, I thought that was weird. This has got to change now, and we'll spend that extra little bit of quality time together. And we've been out for a couple of meals together, and we've even had a couple of takeaways, haven't we? Mm. Um, not excessive, because it gives me stomach ache. And it's not all work and no play for Sh Shantae. It's important to like do things what you need to do, like with work and that. But it's also important to have fun. We've had a couple of girly shopping days as well. That's why our wardrobe's so full. Mm. When he does the ironing, he's moaning he can't get the stuff in the wardrobe. <laughs> he's sick about this. And in Birmingham, the Ramsey home is a very different. Place. Ah, okay, cherry tomatoes. Talk about it. Please. Clever girl. Go on. Okay, shorty playing golf. Sam Talk has about moved it. out and is now a full time That's good. to Jess. That's good. We are grandparents now. Well, I'm a grandmother now. That's good. I always was a grandmother, but I was actually a mother. So that and that's stopped. Um, so the house has just changed so much now in that there's no toys or mess anywhere and food on the floor and and I don't miss your daughter grew some respect about you. See? Like the whole experience made me like think, you know, what do I actually want from like life sort of thing. And I wanted to get a different job and I wanted to put Jess in the nursery, give her some time with other children away from me so I've got time to myself. And got in my Chris has got more time with Rush yeah. and they've got big plans. Next year we married 21 years. When we got married uh, in those years ago, yeah. we got married in the register office and as he was a divorcee. Um, and now um, we've got the church due next year, it's all booked. Beautiful church, ten bridesmaids. Nice. Are you looking for substitutes? Anybody wants to substitute? <laughs> yeah, still freaky. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. This this is an episode, or is that a? The Pinchins live a tradition. My bad. TL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. Uh, I'm gone. This then turned into an hour and twenty, twelve, twelve minutes.